Welcome to my channel people author link will be on description make sure to check it let's start what if Naruto had a leveling system on a dark silent night with only the moon shining with a creepy pale light different from its usual serene shine in Kanahagakur or the hidden leaf village, a weird event was currently happening in the Uchiha compound unnoticed by all in the village, a five years old orphan that lost his parents during the incident of the QB going berserk suddenly opened his eyes from his sleep and felt a terrible pain out of nowhere. His face turned pale like the pale moonlight shining on this village and his breathing started slowing down each second until his heart stopped beating and an eerie silence invaded the lonely room, and so the poor kid died with no one aware of him until suddenly the little kid took a deep breath and jolted up into a sitting position breaking the eerie silence in his room. The more the body of the little kid restored, it felt like the whole world was turning back to normal and the moon started shining again with its pure white light until the kid opened his eyes, eyes filled with confusion to his surroundings. Is this what happens after death? He thought while receiving memories about his current location and situation. So this kid's name is Bakorio huh? Fine since this is a new start in life for me I will keep using this name to honor your life too. He thought when suddenly he heard a beep in his head and saw a panel with a notification appear in front of him which he read with a surprised look. Gamer system bounding to the host completely, please check your options by thinking option asterisk, just how many surprises I am going to feel psi option, he thought and a new panel appeared. Status, inventory, shop, quests he chose status first. Name, Bakorio Uchiha, health, 77 plus 1 per minute, dot. STR plus AGI plus PHI 3 plus BIT asterisk 5 chakra, 86 136 plus 2 per minute. Stamina, 100 plus 1 per minute. Attributes, Strength 5, Agility 5, Physique 6, Vitality 10, Stamina 10, Spirit, 20. Skills, None. Abilities, Save and Load. Bloodline, Uchiha 2%. Talent, Chakra Basic. Body Basic. Normal civilian has 10 on his attribute talent levels, basic, medium, advanced master. Each one is 4 times better than the previous he clicked on the bloodline and talents. 2% Uchiha bloodline, additional affinity with fire element plus 1%. Talent chakra, can't surpass a civilian chakra level with normal means. Talent body, can't surpass a civilian body attributes with normal means. Sai now I understand why this kid was deemed useless, a 2% bloodline in a civilian level talent with this he will never be capable of training his chakra not to mention open his Sharingan Sai. Next, he checked what excited him the most, his abilities. Save and load, save a point in time and can return to it at any time. Are you kidding me? Just this ability alone is worth it even if I had nothing else, he thought overwhelmed with excitement. Wasting no time he thought about using it in a panel with three empty save slots appeared in front of him like that of a game, after clicking on the first one he typed in the title of the save is start and pressed confirm, and voila he got a save point. Wanting to test it he stood up and changed the position of the bed before thinking in his head, load to start, and felt his vision blacking out for a moment before everything turned back to normal and he found the bed back to its original position making him ecstatic about the potential of this ability but he saw that there's a two-thirds number on the saving panel and a cool down of 24h, it seems I can only use it three times a day huh? Next, he checked his inventory and he found 10 slots, 9 empty, and one contains a simple box with the simple description, beginner gift box that contains three random items. And so he clicked on it to open it hoping he will get something good from it and he quickly checked the panel that appeared. Beginner gift box opened x1 reward, basic blood purifying pill x1, advanced body tempering pill x1, random talent x1 he clicked on each of the items to see their description. Basic blood purifying pill, enhance a chosen bloodline by 10%. Advanced body tempering pill, greatly raise the quality of the body. Random talent. Give the user a random talent with a random level and without hesitation he started consuming them one by one, starting with the bloodline pill and he chose the only bloodline he has, Uchiha. The moment the pill entered his mouth it melted and he started feeling his blood heating up and that heat traveled to his whole body moving in cycles but he felt it more concentrated in his eyes. After three minutes it stopped and he felt somehow lighter and his vision clearer than ever. Next, he took the body tempering pill 
and the moment the pill melted in his mouth he felt a terrible pain in his whole body as if every cell was getting destroyed and reconstructed into something with more potential and this continued for a long time before he couldn't endure the pain anymore twitched one last time falling from his bed and then fainted. Two hours later, a five-year-old kid opened his eyes one more time and found that it was still dark outside and he's laying down on the floor with a pool of sweat surrounding him making him disgusted by the smell but he ignored it for now and opened his status to check just how big the changes in his body are. A N. I will just show what changed. HP. 77,233 plus 3 minutes. CH. 136,330 plus 4 minutes. STA. 500 plus 5 minutes, attributes, str 515, agi 515, phi 620, bit 1030, sta 1050, spr 2040. Talents, chakra basic medium, body basic advanced. Bloodline, uchiha 2% 20% plus 10% fire affinity, looking at the huge improvement brought by the two pills he simply couldn't believe his luck, Still many things were affected like his chakra talent and spirit probably from the strengthening of the bloodline which was affected by the body tempering pill 2 raising from the expected 12% to 20%. What if I load before the time I opened the beginner box will I get something different? After all, it says the reward is random. But before that let's see what I get is a random talent, and without further waiting, I clicked on the random talent and received the current notification. One random talent used. You received the talent cooking, advanced asterisk, not bad, at least I didn't get a dancing talent or something useless like that. Now let's save this point and check my theory quickly, and before long a new save test was made before Bacorio loaded to start asterisk. Without wasting any time he directly opened the beginner box and to his disappointment he received. Good quality sort basic detoxifying pill, water bullet jutsu, as for the talent he received fishing talent. Feeling disappointed he almost went back to the test saving point but he quickly stopped himself and thought, wait I can learn that jutsu after all my memories won't be affected by loading, and so he learned it and information about the jutsu and how to execute it appeared in his head and opened his status he also saw it in skills section as, water bullet jutsu, rank C, cost 200 cha, level 1, 1% exp. Wanting to test it he slowly did some hand seals feeling his chakra moving with each hand sign he does and shaping itself in the form of a water bullet which he felt can control and he directed it toward the wall in front of him and it left a fist sized hole in it and he noticed his experience with it raised to 2%. Feeling satisfied he quickly returned to the test save point before any trouble arrived and as he suspected the jutsu disappeared from his status panel but his knowledge and prior experience using it is still there. It's possible it will reappear after I use it again but that has to wait until I am somewhere secluded. I thought before checking the store function finding it contains all kinds of skills and items from different worlds too but you need system points to buy them which could be acquired by selling things to the system or completing quests. After his system exploration ended reality finally hit him that he's now in a new world, a world that can bring his dead heart back to life, starting from this village. I thought with a smile while looking from the window enjoying the breeze and the beauty of the lonely moon in the sky. Seeing that I had a long night ahead of me and I was feeling energetic from the pill, I started organizing my memories to remember what I know about this fictional world that I was a fan of so long ago. Thankfully it seemed like my memory was enhanced thanks to either my bloodline or body talent because I was able to remember some events and linking them to my current situation. The timeline should be around 5 years after the Nine Tails incident because I am of the same age as the protagonist so I need to be careful, otherwise, I will be a goner in the Uchiha massacre that's going to happen around 2 years from now, resolving that should be my first priority or at least ensuring my life. After deciding for a general direction of what my close term goal should be I pass the rest of the night training my body using simple exercises like push-ups, sit-ups, squats and so on and when I am physically tired I use the rest of the time to train my chakra control and meditate a little to raise my chakra quantity. After a few hours of training, he felt his body got stronger and his chakra quantity increased so he opened his status and found some increase in his attributes. Advanced body talent is really broken, this way my training speed is 16 times faster than a normal person so it's like I train for 16 nights. Next, he saw two new skills, 
Chakra Manipulation 3 Latvian Laches 32% EXP, the higher the level the lesser chakra you waste when casting a Jutsu and the easier it is to manipulate your chakra. Meditation 2 Latvian Laches 50% EXP, the higher it is the faster you increase your chakra, greatly increase chakra regeneration rate while in meditation. It was harder to increase meditation because I couldn't clear my mind from the suddenness of what's happened to me, I thought while sighing. Seeing that it's already morning and the sun started rising I decided to go cook some breakfast so I walked to my simple kitchen and looked at the ingredients I have. Some eggs and rice and some condiments that's it huh. Again I let another sigh because of the miserable life this kid had, but all this will change very soon, I thought with a cold look. Looking at what I have, I felt my cooking talent kicking in and I started cooking as if by instinct cooking the rice with some condiments and frying the eggs, and even though it was simple, the taste was still so good. Any talent can be useful, I thought before wolfing down my food since I was hungry from all the training I did. Finishing with this I washed the dishes I used for eating and cooking and went outside to take a walk around the clan compound and the village. Exiting my simple house I saw that many of the houses around weren't of that good of quality and remembered that the Uchiha were exiled to the outskirts of the village by the elders of the village after Danzo kept blaming them for the Nine Tails attack. I saw many kids of age going to the ninja academy outside the village with youthful faces different from the old people with gloomy faces knowing the true reality and situation of their clan and maybe feeling its impending doom. After a few laps, I finally found my first target to improve my situation, it was a 5 years old kid with black eyes handsome face, and slightly spiky hair this was the son of the Uchiha clan head and the second protagonist of the story Sasuke Uchiha. He seems to be heading to the forest hull let follow him for now, and so I followed until he reached the forest I just kept watching him and saw that he was training his shuriken jutsu on some targets in the trees with a very focused expression on his face. Ooh, this kid is pretty good at this young age, even though he wasn't hitting the bull's eye most of the time, at least his aim was right and he didn't miss the target. And so I approached him with as much stealth as I can and his concentration helped in him not noticing me and when I was right behind him I simply leaned my head to his ear and said, boo, and he jumped as if he saw a ghost and turned to look at me with a slightly pale face before it turned to anger and he said, what do you think you are doing? I looked at his cute face trying to act mature after I saw him scared like that and I said with a chuckle and a friendly face, he 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 do you want to be a ninja? He looked at me with a determined face and said, yes I am going to be a great ninja like my big brother, I saw in his eyes the deep admiration he had for Itachi, Itachi huh, great ninja huh, I said before my friendly face turned into a serious and dignified one and I could see that he felt my aura suffocating him. Why does it feel like I am looking at father? Sasuke thought while feeling a little intimidated before he heard me say. And what great ninja leaves his back open to his potential enemies? He looked at me with surprise and retorted childishly. We are in the Uchiha clan, nobody can harm me here. And I simply thought, oh how deeply wrong you are, before I said to him. Yes this place is safe but that doesn't mean you don't need to train your awareness of your surroundings to the point it becomes an instinct. Sasuke made an annoyed face because he could tell I was right but his childish personality didn't allow him to admit it so he snorted and said to me instead, Humph mastering shuriken jutsu is way more useful than your stupid awareness, this time I just coldly looked at him and asked him, do you think you are smart? He puffed his cheeks and said with pride, of course I am smartest other than my brother, I smiled and said, so answer me this, and without giving him the choice to answer or not I continued. If you were thrown in a forest right now with enemies stronger than you everywhere what you think is more useful shuriken jutsu or awareness of where the danger is to avoid it. He looked at me with the most annoyed look so far and with some frustration he said, okay awareness is more important now leave I need to train before brother comes back. I just smiled and said, sure go ahead, but I didn't leave and kept watching him closely not letting him concentrate and making his accuracy worse than before which made him annoyed. What are you still doing here? Sasuke said, I have nothing to do so I am just passing my time. I simply shrugged and said and what I did next made him even more annoyed as I grabbed some of his shurikens and started practicing on a tree like him. Hey those are mine go train somewhere else. And I said with a creepy smile, I either train or I keep watching what do you like more. Looking at my creepy smile, 
made him think that he will never be able to concentrate on his training he quickly turned around and continued his training making the choice very clear. I just smiled at this little kid and concentrated on my throwing, something I noticed about this system is I have two options to use my skills. First through the system meaning the effect of the skill depends on its level and this will only cause a slight increase in experience, meanwhile, the second method is to personally use the skill without assistance, this gives huge experience depending on how good the improvements I added to the skill. For example, in this case, while I am learning shuriken jutsu which is throwing all kinds of weapons I quickly got the skill but instead of using it I kept adjusting my form and seeing which one is best and thanks to the system my mastery is ingrained in me so I quickly forgot about time while training and I gained an understanding. Shuriken jutsu is the combination of many things first the characteristics of the weapon you use mainly weight and shape. The form used to control the angle and the power behind the throw and lastly the environment mainly the effect of the wind. And so first I got used to the shurikens and kune then kept adjusting myself to my two other requirements and before long two hours passed and I noticed that any shot I make was a bull's eye so I stopped for now because I noticed Sasuke looking at me like some kind of monster and I simply said with my hand raised. Yo. Sasuke looked at the kid in front of him with his jaw dropping, because even though he pretended to want to do nothing with him he was still a kid without many friends other than his brother Itachi, those in the clan didn't approach him out of respect and fear for his father the clan head not wanting their kids to misbehave with Sasuke and cause a bad relationship with him, and the rest of the clans in the village are still suspecting them for the nine tails attack and kept their distance from them as to not also be targeted by the elders. And so while Sasuke was training he would glance at Bakorio from time to time, and seeing that he was better made him smug and continue his training with a smirk, but as times passed and Bakorio's accuracy increased his face started crumbling little by little until one hour later he just forgot about his training and kept staring at Bakorio and his quick improvement in disbelief. Yo, a voice snapped Sasuke out of his daze and he looked at the source of it before he quickly said, how did you improve so quickly? I looked at the kid in front of me, simple because I am a genius, I said, while inwardly I was thinking something else when I checked my new skill throwing art, LBL 10 5% EXP, can hit unmoving targets with 100% accuracy, still got a long way to go huh, from simple moving targets to randomly moving targets to changing the direction of the projectiles while midair like Itachi. I guess I would need to reach at least level 40 of 50 which will take a long time the higher the level. Meanwhile, Sasuke didn't appreciate my answer and said, HMPH fine I don't care, what a tsunere, I thought, by the way what's your name? I asked him he looked at me from the corner of his eyes and said, my name is Sasuke Uchiha, looking at his childish behavior I simply extended my hand for a handshake and said with a smile, and I am Bakorio Uchiha let be friends. I saw his eyes gleaming a little bit but he tried to hide it and shook my hand in the end and I said, well I am going to rest for a bit you should keep practicing since you watched me more than you practiced, I said with a chuckle. Sasuke got embarrassed so he snorted and turned around to continue his training this time with a smile on his face. Sigh good thing I know how to deal with kids I thought before I sat under one of the trees and let its shadow embrace me. Quests, I said in my head. And a panel with countless quests appeared in front of me and I could screen them depending on location, difficulty, and completion and I directly selected completed and I found a few that I completed. Quest friend of the protagonist one. Befriend one of the main characters in this world. Reward 100 points plus additional reward depending on the befriended character completed. Quest throwing art one. Reach level 10 with your throwing art. Reward, 30 points plus one random shuriken jutsu completed. Quest Bloodline Enhancer 1. Raise one of your bloodlines to 10%. Reward 50 points plus Bloodline Awakening Pill completed. I quickly accepted all the rewards and now I got the notification asterisk you received plus 180 points. Bloodline Awakening Pill, Slithering Throwing Jutsu, Indra's Chakra. Let's see what each of them does I thought Bloodline Awakening Pill. Allows the user to awaken the main characteristics of his bloodline and enhance them. Slithering Throwing Jutsu. Imbue the projectiles with wind chakra that allows the user to manipulate them in the air after throwing them, the higher the level the better the effect. Indra's chakra, can only be used with an Uchiha bloodline of at least 70% purity, strengthen the effect of any dujutsu eye powers and lessen their side effect and greatly increase the user's spirit and chakra. 
Amazing, this way I can open my Sharingan quite early even with how weak my bloodline is, and so I just learned the slithering throwing art and left the other two in the inventory for now until I'm back home. I felt a rush of information enter my head on how to manipulate my chakra to transform it into wind chakra and manipulate objects with it. Satisfied with my new skill I turned my attention to Sasuke watching how he's training I decided to pass the rest to the time by giving him advice from time to time which he gladly accepted. 11.45 am we heard some footsteps walking toward us until the figure of a beautiful woman in housewife clothing appeared in front of us, she had very fair skin, contrasting with her long ebony hair whose locks framed her face. Her eyes were black in color. She wore a dark purple blouse and a long crimson skirt, she was Makoto Uchiha the mother of Sasuke. It's time for lunch so she probably came to invite Sasuke back, and my guess was right because before long she said, Eris Sasuke is this your friend? She looked at me with a warm smile while Sasuke rushed to her and hugged her with a happy smile that quickly turned into a cute annoyed look and said, HMPH no, what an ungrateful kid, I thought but I didn't let my emotions show and I just smiled and said, Hi I am Bakoryo Uchiha Sasuke and I just became friends, I didn't know he had such a beautiful mother, Makoto felt happy from my compliment and knowing her kid finally made a friend so she decided to invite me for lunch with them so she held Sasuke's hand and looked at me with a smile and said. What a well-mannered kid, would you like to come to eat lunch with me and Sasuke? And I happily responded with, Yes, contrary to Sasuke's annoyed face Makoto was glad I accepted so she held my hand with her other hand and said, let's go, Sasuke gave me a jealous face and I just laughed at him for it and so as we are walking towards their house Makoto suddenly said, oh I was so excited I didn't ask if your parents would be okay with this, she had an embarrassed look because she forgets to consider if my parents are waiting for me or not. My smile faded away and I said with a sad look, I don't have parents. Makoto felt bad now for what she said and she quickly knelt and hugged me while saying, I am so sorry I didn't know, feeling the warmth from her hug I thought, just how idiotic can you be Itachi to kill such a person, I sighed but to her it seemed I am still sad but I dispelled her worries and said, I am fine I am used to it, she only grew sadder and promised to take care of her kid's new friend while Sasuke didn't say anything and didn't show me that jealous look again at least you know how to read the situation, I thought. Before long we arrived at a huge Japanese house surrounded by walls that has the Uchiha clan symbol on them and I thought, this really deserves to be the house of a clan leader, and couldn't wait to experience some proper food. After entering the house, Makoto led me to the dining room while she said she was going to finish her preparations and bring the food. Sasuke volunteered to help her and I followed after him but she refused us and said just wait here and so we sat around the table and it quickly became awkward with Sasuke killing the mood with his silence so I decided to break it, hey Sasuke where's your brother you talked about? I asked curiously and he replied that his brother was busy doing missions and his father Fugaku was always busy managing the clan so most of the time he's only around with his mother and then he switched to talking about how great his brother is and it felt like a dam was broken and I was hit by a tsunami of his admiration for his brother, sigh why did I open this Pandora box and provoke this fanboy, I regretfully thought. Thank god it didn't take long for Makoto didn't take long to come back and the table was quickly filled with dishes. She prepared a few dishes for each of us consisting of gyudon which is basically a bowl of rice with beef on the top seasoned with different ingredients and spices. With that, there is also a bowl of miso soup and a small salad. I quickly thanked her for the food and started tasting everything since I was quite hungry from the training and to my pleasant surprise everything was really tasty. Wa Makoto san your food is really delicious, I faked the tone to appear childish but the compliment was from the heart. Makoto smiled happily from the compliment and said, you two should eat well to become a great ninja and protect the village. I just smiled at her and continued stuffing my face with the food while Sasuke responded with an excited look, of course mother I will become a great ninja and protect everyone, how innocent, is Jonan ninja and the wife of the clan head, she surely knows how bad the clan situation is and how wrong they are by the village yet she still tries to not raise her kids with hate sigh, unfortunately, 
those elders don't think the same and they only work for their benefits, with this kind of rigged chess game you either don't play at all and leave the village or you flip the board and go for an all-out war bringing down with you as much as you could yet they just chose the worst possible course of action and that is they put their trust on their enemy a very useless enemy with the name of Sarutobi Hirazan, sigh I felt like I need to stop thinking otherwise I will grow older quickly. It didn't take long before we finished our lunch and I decided to go for a walk around the village and I asked Sasuke to accompany me which he agreed and so we headed out but not before we heard Makoto say, Bakoryo-kun come by whenever you want okay, and gave me a hug. What a nice woman you deserve to live more and I am going to make sure you will. I thought in my head while I said with a smile, um I will come by sometimes thank you, and so we left while she waved at us from the door and told Sasuke not to be late for dinner. We started walking and we left the Uchiha compound and I thought that I should visit as many places as I can to make a map and get familiar with the village and the moment I had this thought I heard a notification ring in my head and a message appeared. Would you like to create the map function? Cost 150 points YN. Surprised at this new use of the system I didn't hesitate and said yes and suddenly on the top corner of my vision I can see a square map like those of a game and I can zoom in and out but most places are dark other than Uchiha compound and the path I am walking on right now, I notice that whenever I move the area in a diameter of 15 meters around will get cleared so with this I won't need to get too close to some restricted areas to explore them which is good. And so we enjoyed our walk but to make it exciting for Sasuke I challenged him to have a race throughout the village and see if he can keep up with me, of course, this is for me to speed up my exploration and train my body at the same time. Two and a half hours later two kids one with straight dark hair seemed to have a victorious smile on his face while the one with the spiked dark hair had a defeated and tired look can be seen going back in the direction of the Uchiha compound before the first one stopped in front of a shop and bought some groceries afterward he entered a shop that sells training equipment and bought some weights before lastly ending his shopping spree at a bakery and bought two boxes of sweets giving one of them to the second kid while saying. Sasuke take these to your mother and thank her for the earlier lunch, Sasuke didn't say anything and just nodded from the exhaustion, exchanged some small goodbye, and decided to train again tomorrow together before he started walking in the direction of his house and I did the same. Now many people will ask why won't I just go interact with Naruto and maybe complete another quest while at it, unfortunately, it's not easy with my identity as an Uchiha and him being the Ninetales Jinchuriki having Anbu guarding him 24 hours, if I approach him they will report it to the Hokage and those rotten elders might make it a reason to pressure the Uchiha clan even more and frame them for trying to control the QB again which will make the time of the Uchiha revolution incident come earlier and catch me unprepared after all currently I could barely be considered a genin. This is the reason why someone like Makoto Uchiha who was a good friend of Naruto's mother Kashina couldn't adopt him or approach him to take care of him which is unfortunate considering Naruto could have led a better life but this just goes to show how heartless those village elders are especially the Hokage since he promised Naruto's parents to take care of him. So I need to be careful in my approach and the best way is to make it knows that he was the one that approached me and to do that I will need to plan a little bit for it and I should raise my strength some more just in case. As for the money to buy the groceries I just exchanged one point from the system for 10,000 Rio. After I entered my simple house I organized my groceries and started training my routine of body training this time with weights and meditating for the rest of the day until night fell and the moon rose. I dragged my exhausted body to make a quick dinner consisting of fried meat and vegetables with rice which I quickly wolfed down thanking the benefits of my cooking talent again and went to sleep to let my body that was tired from training and my mind exhausted from all the acting to avoid raising suspicion rest from this long day, my first day in this new world. For the next half a month I organized my time as follow, practicing taijutsu and shuriken jutsu with sasuke in the morning, Getting closer to his family at noon or familiar with the village and in the afternoon it was intense physical training coupled with chakra control and meditation and in the night I trained using my Sharingan to get used to it, yea I awakened it thanks to the bloodline awakening pill and I directly got a two tomo Sharingan but I am keeping it a secret for now. During this time I got a lot closer to Sasuke's family especially Sasuke and Makoto, I met Fugaku and Itachi from time to time. The latter more than the former because Itachi likes to enjoy his free time with Sasuke and I earned their appreciation for my fighting talents since I basically toy around with Sasuke in our sparring session. 
I also asked Itachi for some advice and I have to admit, as much as I hate his way of thinking, his talents as a ninja are undeniable, and even though I was holding back during our spars I knew even my full power was far from beating him since he's probably already at special Jonin level and very close to being Jonin. Waking up to a new day I decided to check my progress for this half a month status name, Bakoryo Uchiha. Health. 310 plus 3.5 per minute. Chakra. 476 plus 6 per minute. Stamina. 800 plus 8 min. Attributes. Strength 31, Agility 30, Physique 20, Vitality 35, Stamina 80, Spirit. 60. Skills. Throwing Art Level 32, Slithering Throwing Art Level 15, Close Combat Fighting Level 56, Water Bullet Jutsu Level 14, Cooking Level 15, Chakra Control Level 12, Meditation Level 10. Abilities. Save and Load, Map. Bloodline. Uchiha 20%. Talents. Chakra Medium. Body Advanced, Cooking Advanced. Rising my vitality and physique is really difficult Sai. No matter what I did I couldn't find a way to train them but at least they still rise automatically when I train my other attributes. Never mind I can raise them through points from the system but for that, I need to start making money and there is nothing better than taking advantage of my cooking talent and knowledge about recipes from my past life. I thought, another thing I was satisfied with was my close combat fighting level which was this high because of the martial arts experience I have from my past life. As for what concerns money making, I already made preparations to make a pastry shop and I got a lot of help from the clan head personally after he tasted how good my cakes are, as for the money I simply said that it was something my parents left me and after putting some sad faces and he got some glares from Makoto he didn't ask any further. It seemed like Fugaku really goes far and beyond for his clan members that show potential since he helped me get a shop with the great location I asked for being near the Ninja Academy, a place with great daily traffic that mainly consists of students and their parents. Through all this, I pretended to be very grateful, but I knew with my long experiences in life there's a truth that doesn't change no matter the world you are in and that is there's no lunch that comes for free, not mentioned from a struggling clan like the Uchiha. So I quickly guessed that this was a test to see if I was the same as his son Itachi or not, a person that would choose this rotten village over his clan and I won't disappoint him since I need to gain his trust to help me for what I am planning. Today I wasn't going to train with Sasuke like usual, instead, I went to check the shop and I found it was ready according to what I asked for, from the decor to the equipment I need. I also found civilian Uchiha I asked Fugaku for since I need a worker to deal with the customers, I call him a worker and not a clerk because I am 100% sure he double works as a spy for Fugaku and will relay everything to him that's why he's a worker, but I don't mind since between having a Fugaku spy or a Danzo spy, the better choice is obvious. I decided to make my first business a pastry shop because I just need to quickly make whatever I am going to sell, cakes tartlets muffins cupcakes etc and leave the rest for the worker to do the rest so i don't affect my training time a lot and i am pretty sure that then return from this business will be huge and so i added work very early in the morning to my daily routine and did the rest as usual and i dealt with fugaku's trust issues by simply calculating the taxes the village demands and paying the uchiha clan something a little higher than it but of course when fugaku asked i simply gave him an innocent smile and said i am just helping the clan as it helped me while inside i was thinking hey just wait if i don't milk you dry my name won't be bakorio as for fugaku he didn't suspect much since after all i am just a five-year-old kid Meanwhile, I visit to see how the shop was doing randomly from time to time between my training sessions as more parents with their kids comes and goes from my shop, I started noticing a young kid with short blonde hair and weird cat whiskers on his cheeks, his figure seemed lonely every time he saw the happiness in the face of the other kids with their parents with ocean blue eyes while enjoying my pastries while he can only smell it from far away with no money to pay for such luxuries. Naruto Pop why don't I have parents to buy me sweets? Am I really a monster like everyone says? Don't I deserve to be happy like everyone else? I thought with a heavy heart filled with sadness and loneliness that only increased from the disgusted stares people gave him. He arrived once again in front of that heavenly smell he was enchanted by for the past few days and couldn't help but swallow while looking at the pastry shop in front of him. Not long after some kids felt sad for him but their parents quickly pulled them away while saying, 
No, stay away from him he's a monster. Yay, that kid is the calamity of our village just why don't they kill him or get rid of him. During this usual talk I felt deeply hurt and then I saw a dark haired kid approaching the shop and the people started greeting him while also saying, Hey good evening Bakorio look that monster is looking at your shop again you should throw him away before he ruins your business, and many others followed saying similar things and the kid called Bakorio turned and looked at him calmly. What a lucky kid to have a shop this young but I am causing him a lot of trouble so I better not come here again. I sadly thought before deciding to return home but the moment I turned around I felt a hand on my shoulder and a voice said, do you want to eat some sweets? I turned around and what greeted me was something different from the cold and disgusted look that I was expecting, for the kid simply had a warm smile, a smile that made the heaviness in my heart slightly lighter and so with a hesitant look I nodded my head and he simply led me inside his shop and gave me whatever I wanted to eat. I wished for this happiness to never end but unfortunately, I can stay for too long after I ate so I tried to pay him with I have but he didn't accept and I thanked him from the bottom of my heart for his kindness and turned around to leave feeling sad I can't experience this again but my sadness was short lived because very soon the warm voice said to me, come back tomorrow, and with it, I left home with tears in my eyes, for the first time in my life tears of happiness. Approaching my shop people started greeting me as usual even though I was an Uchiha and they have a bad opinion about us, this is the difference between a successful person and a normal one or in this case a simple civilian, no matter how negatively people used to see you, whether their views are deserved or not, everything will change when you become successful because now your relationship with them can bring them benefits, and for their benefits, people can do anything. I thought while looking calmly at the people around me greeting me with happy faces, the same people that started to insult the young kid in front of my shop and telling their kids not to go near him. I simply ignored them and led the kid into my shop and gave him some sweets to satisfy his curiosity before asking him to visit again tomorrow. Throughout my interaction with the kid, the ugly people around me didn't say anything other than sending him disgusting glances as if looking at a cockroach until he left they started talking. Person 1 inch Bakorio kun you shouldn't bring this monster to your shop he might cause you trouble. Person 2 inches yay, that monster only knows how to cause trouble. Person 3 inches that sinful beast doesn't deserve to live why is Hokage sama not getting rid of him tch. I coldly looked at them and said, I have my own ways of dealing with those that cause trouble in my shop, you people don't need to worry about it before directly entering a side room in my shop and didn't wait for these useless people to respond to me and I could hear them whisper behind my back something like how rude, etc. What happened today made me wonder if this rotten village is bad because of those ruling it or because of the people living in it, or both. To act like this toward an orphan whose parents died protecting them, not to mention him being innocent. Yet they without hesitation push all the blame into a kid without feeling any remorse, all that because he has the nine tails sealed in him, what disgusting people, they deserve the incident of nine tails going berserk, I thought people easily judge others yet they fear judging themselves the same way because in the truth of the matter even the, monster, inside of him was made into one by the hands of this village and their great founder Hashirama Senju. After all what sentient being would not go crazy after being sealed for decades and treated like a tool either thrown into a war to fight for them or stay sealed in a prison all alone you can't even move in. Yet they will never admit this because it's easier to consider themselves the victims. I quickly broke away from my thoughts and opened my inventory to check what I earned over the past few days from completing quests. Asterisk 530 points, attributes multiplier x1. Rare Double Edged Short Sword Level 15 x2, Basic Strength Ring Level 6 x1, Lethal Kanai x10, 10 Chakra Regeneration Pills, Basic Heartless Necklace. The best thing I got is the Attributes Multiplier after I reached level 50 in my close combat fighting skill, and the swords too are truly great I got from reaching level 25 which made me excited about starting to learn swordsmanship soon but I won't use them yet because I can't explain where I got such high quality short swords. The basic strength ring I got from level 10 in close combat, it adds 15 points to my strength which I wear all the time other than when I am training my body. The lethal kune I got them from my throwing art reaching level 25, they are coated in an extremely lethal poison, hence the name, that could kill anyone with a body below Jonin level excluding those with high vitality or poison resistance. 
The pills are self-explanatory I got them from my chakra manipulation reaching level 10 and the necklace I got from my meditation reaching level 10, it affects the wearer's genjutsu power and resistance, power by 10% and resistance by 5%. The attribute multiplier, the best out of all these multiply all my attributes by 2 and I am not planning to use it until I reach my absolute limits from training or the situation really calls for a quick power up. 530 points huh, I quickly entered the shop to check the prices of the jutsus, I didn't check the things from other worlds because I noticed that they are far more expensive than the things existing in Naruto world. The prices for the different jutsus are, 100 to 300 points for rank E jutsu 600, 1 700 points for rank D jutsu 2000, 6000 points for rank C jutsu 8000, 2000 points for rank B jutsu 3000, 8000 points for rank A jutsu 10000, 4000 points for rank S jutsu plus 500,000 points for forbidden rank jutsu after thinking for a while I decided to start using my save and load ability to buy jutsu and rewind time to gain my points back but I will have to train them quickly otherwise I might forget them so I can't buy flashy skills but simple ones will do and so I quickly did a save for this moment and bought the 2e rank clone and transformation jutsus costing me almost all my points. Looking at the two skill books in my hand I quickly learned them and started using them continuously until I got used to using them without the help of the system. Done with learning the two probably only useful E-rank jutsus I left my shop and noticed that it's still early in the afternoon and knowing that I will be using a save point I thought it was time to test something. Thus I quickly checked my map for the location of a certain house, the house of the famous monster of Konoha that visited my shop not long ago and started walking towards it. Hopefully this works out from the first try. I thought while walking with an excited smile on my face for I know I could do anything right now and still get no trouble by a simple touch on a load button. My walk wasn't easy because I felt really tempted to do whatever twisted desires I have in my heart but I held them in by reminding myself that I have a purpose to achieve and so I cleared my mind and calmed my heart to focus on everything around me. At first, I could feel that everything was normal but as I got in front of Naruto's house I could feel that I was being watched by someone but I couldn't detect from where but I didn't care and stood in front of the door for a while sorting out my thoughts before I knocked on it. Tap. Tap. Tap I started hearing someone coming down the stairs and before long Naruto opened the door and I can see his eyes widen from surprise or delight who knows. I smiled at him and said, can I come in? I brought a cake with me, Naruto quickly nodded his head and said, of course please come inside, he looked at me with a wide grin and I can see how happy he was to be visited by someone, not to mention with a cake. Time for the experiment to start, I thought as the door of this old apartment closed behind me. Naruto led me to the kitchen and we sat around the table together and started enjoying the cake I brought with me together. This kid is really innocent and pitiful. I thought because he didn't even question if I have bad intentions by visiting right now. Do you like it? I said. Naruto raised his head from the cake and with the same happy smile as earlier now having his white teeth stained with chocolate said, yes it's very delicious. I am glad to hear it but, Naruto I am not just here to bring you the cake, I said with a serious face while glancing at my map to check if there are any anbu nearby and I found that they are just watching from a distance which is good for what I want to do. H how do you know my name? Naruto asked nervously. I looked at the nervous kid in front of me and thought, finally a normal reaction, before I said with a simile, I know everything about you, including who your parents are and why people hate you, do you want to know the reason why? The nervousness quickly disappeared from Naruto's face and was replaced by intense desire and hope and he hurriedly said, please tell me who my parents are please. I looked at him with a serious face and said, once you know the truth, your life will forever change and you might even become an enemy of the village, so are you sure you want to know the truth? He didn't even take a second to decide or hesitate and responded by, yes. Please tell me. Listen carefully then and know that you can't share this information with anyone or you will be in danger. Anyways let's start first with why you are called a monster. The reason for that is because the nine-tailed fox that went berserk in the village five years ago is now sealed on you and the previous person that had the nine tails sealed in them is your mother Kashina Uzumaki when she was going to give birth to you five years ago a masked man attacked the birth site and your father had to choose between saving you or your mother, your father the fourth Hokage Minato Namikaze, 
I can see his expression changing from sadness, pain, and shock, and wanted to interrupt me and ask me some questions but I quickly cut him off and said, hold your questions until I finish, while your father was taking you to a safe place the masked man didn't waste any time and unsealed the nine tails from your mother and started controlling him to attack her but your father saved her just in time while the masked man teleported inside the village and summoned the nine tails which started the incident the people hate you for. I continue explaining how his parents died while trying to seal the nine tails and how they entrusted him to the third Hokage but as he can see he easily broke his promise and that Danzo one of the elders of the village is the one that spread bad rumors about you and the third Hokage did nothing about it. After I was done with my explanation tears fell from his eyes and I can see his worldview collapsing and he felt something change inside of him, he didn't desire acceptance from this village anymore. I simply hugged him while saying, it's okay you are not alone, and these words made his heart that almost sank in darkness resurface again but what was tainted will not change back. What should I do now, he said with a sad face while leaving my hug reluctantly. I can help you meet your parents again, I said out of nowhere making him look at me with a doubtful but excited face. RR really, can you really help me meet them? Yes I can, I said with a warm smile but we will also meet the nine tails so you should stay closer to me and only listen to me no matter what understood. I said with a serious face. He nodded his head repeatedly, first let me see how the situation is and I will show you how to do it too when I am done, and he obediently accepted and so I put my hand on his abdomen and started focusing my mind and chakra into it until I felt my vision suddenly change and I found myself in a dimly lit space with water under me and a huge metallic cell door in front of me. I felt danger hiding in the darkness behind that door just waiting for an unsuspecting intruder to come closer to swallow. I came close to the door and I said with a grin, I didn't know the nine tails likes to play hide and seek, suddenly to blood red orbs shone just in front of my face behind the door and a terrifying bloodlust started radiating from the darkness and a heavy deep voice said, what are you doing here kid? Stop trying to intimidate me I didn't come here with bad intentions towards you and you should be able to feel that right. I said. HMPH, the nine tails snorted and said. I saw you telling the kid about his origin I can tell you want to manipulate him, I'd rather not trust you, well well don't you know it's rude to listen to other people's conversation, I said and I quickly received a fist. Smashing on the door is a response and the nine tails started growling like a beast. Okay okay I am just kidding don't be angry, actually I pity you and I came here to offer you a deal I wonder if you are interested. I calmly said suddenly he stopped his growling and gave me a sinister smile and said, sure as long as you unseal me I can grant you anything, and I couldn't help but laugh, ha 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 ha, while thinking, can he really not see that sinister smile on his face, only an idiot would believe his words and I only laughed harder when he started growling at me again and smashed the door saying I will kill you and whatnot. Okay okay stop I am not here to antagonize you but to befriend you but I just couldn't hold my laugh back with you trying to make me trust you with that sinister smile on your face, I said. Probably due to the long time since he interacted with anyone he really didn't notice that his intentions were written all over his face which made him a little embarrassed but he didn't show it and just kept glaring at me. How cute. I thought and I said, well I was indeed going to offer to unseal you but I can't do that when you were like this since I can't trust you so we first need to build on this point if we want to have a deal. He looked at me silently retrieved his bloodlust and said, this time hiding his intentions. Come inside my cell and I will trust you. I looked at him deeply for a few seconds before saying. Today your body is sealed and you can't free yourself but you have complete control over your heart and it's your choice to unseal it or keep it locked forever with no one attempting to trust you again. And with that said, without hesitation, I stepped foot in that sealed darkness entering the prison cell where someone like the nine tails can kill you anytime might seem risky but to me, it's not. Because the moment I decided to use this kind of approach, most of my attention was on using the loading function of the system, and the rest of it was used to analyze everything around me especially the behavior of the nine tail to see through his intentions and currently as much as he's putting a sinister facade in front of me, inside I can sense he's hesitating. As I walked inside I can see his eyes shone for a second before a huge hand caught my body and raised it in the air and now I can see its huge body having red orange colored fur with black fur around its red eyes that stretch up to its ears, and nine long curved tails. It also has an upper body structure of a human. 
The nine tails gave me that sinister smile again and said, I got you now kid how do you want to die? I looked at him coldly unaffected by him pretending to look evil and being thankful for the training I did in this past month or so because if I was a normal civilian my body wouldn't hold for long under the pressure of this squeeze. After adjusting to the pressure I said, if this is your choice hurry up and kill me don't waste my time. My response made his mouth twitch and growled at me, your kid do you think I won't kill you? No, but don't forget what I am offering you and I already showed you enough sincerity by coming here unprotected so if all this doesn't work I can only blame my luck if you want to kill me go ahead, I responded. I can feel how conflicted his emotions are from the continuous flickering of his eyes, but soon enough the hand that was clutching me loosened a little bit, even though I was still held by him this time it's much more gentler and was followed by him saying, kid even if you have courage that doesn't mean you can help, you are weak. Well of course genius I've barely been here for a month what do you expect not to mention being a 5 years old, I thought with annoyance while outside my face didn't change at all and I said, yes but I have a plan but for it to work I first need you to cooperate with me and we need trust for that. Oh tell me then what kind of great plan a kid still wet behind the ears like you can come up with, the nine tails said mockingly with its deep voice. I won't tell you anything before you show some trust in me. I said and the nine tails increased his squeeze again while saying, tell me or I will kill you, while glaring at me. No, I said while returning the glare. Seeing that I wasn't taking a step back the nine tails reluctantly let go of me and said, here I let you go now tell me. I couldn't help but look at him amusingly and said, I didn't know the famous nine tails would try to trick a five years old like, seriously what's the difference between you holding me and me still in this cell obviously you can catch me again anytime you want. The nine tails looked embarrassed for an instant because I saw through him but tried to hide it quickly before saying, TCH what do you want to do then? I looked at him and said, simple, allow me to leave the cell and I will start trusting you. He looked at me with flickering eyes before he lay down, I noticed a trace of sadness in his eyes while he said, okay you can leave. I didn't say anything and turned around and started walking back to the door while I thought about this encounter that made my heart almost stop many times but I hid it as much as possible even though I knew he can sense my emotions, still my pride didn't allow me to show it and even now the fear of not knowing if you are going to get stabbed in the back or not is making me sick but I held it in. While deep in thought, I quickly found myself in front of the same metallic door and passed it without anything happening which made me heave a sigh of relief before I turned around and looked at the lonely orange figure laying down while silently looking at me with unreadable eyes. I quickly calmed my heart and walked back in, which made the nine tails show a surprise but also delighted face and I quickly arrived in front of him, sat down, and looked deeply at his giant blood red eyes with vertical slits inside and said. Now we have some basic trust let introduce ourselves, I will start, my name is Bakorio Uchiha and my dream is to fill the void in my heart. The nine tails looked surprised at my dream but decided to ask about it another time, my name is Kurama and my dream is to be free and get revenge on those that imprisoned me, Kurama said with both hope and hate. Kurama huh, you have a nice name, I said with a smile and I can see the delight he was trying to hide when I complimented him. HMPH of course my name is the best, he said arrogantly before that arrogance turned to doubt and he said, so how are you going to free me, you should know that if you just release me from the kid he will die and I will just be sealed again by someone in this village or other villages. I responded, yes I know, and what you don't know is that even unsealing you won't be that easy because when the fourth sealed you he sealed both his and his wife's chakra here just in case to help their child with suppressing you in case of accidents. He looked surprised and angry at the thought the people that sealed him are close around here but I quickly calmed him down and said, I know how you are feeling but I have a plan for them to solve the issue of you getting sealed, when he heard me he calmed down and told me to keep explaining. The problem you and the other tailed beast have is that you are made of chakra which makes sealing techniques extra effective against you, so I am planning to convince Minato and his wife Kashina to help us create something like an anti-seal so that it will be harder to seal you in the future, and they are two of the most skilled sealing masters I know of so the probability of making such a seal is quite high what do you think? I said. Kurama looked surprised and delighted at my idea because if it's possible, he will truly become free with no one capable of sealing him but having some doubts he said, but how are you going to convince them? Just leave that to me, I said with a confident smile. 
My talk with Kurama didn't take long so when I left the seal space Naruto was still having the same enthusiasm about meeting his parents so I started explaining to him what to do to enter that space but no matter how I try to guide him that kid simply can't focus properly and clear his mind so I found myself troubled on what to do to make him more focused. It seems this is why he can't learn the clone jutsu, this kid can't even focus on doing one thing not to mention multitasking, I thought. Many people wonder why someone like Naruto who can't even learn a rank E jutsu can learn something like the shadow clone jutsu instantly which is considered rank A and a forbidden one at that, the reason for this is simple, the shadow clone jutsu is rank A because of its characteristic of creating something similar to a real body different from normal clones that are the same as empty shells, and to do that it splits the user chakra between the clones so the higher the number of clones the lower the chakra left in the main body and this causes people with normal chakra to feel extreme exhaustion from the chakra loss that's why only Naruto can use it effectively and that's because his great chakra reserves as a jinchuriki as for the next reason why Naruto can use it is, because because he doesn't need to manually control any of them since they inherit all his memories and experience so no multitasking or focus is needed. I started thinking hard about how to make an idiot focus before I got a great idea. Hey, Naruto do you want to eat another cake? Naruto nodded in confusion, yes, because I changed from explaining how to clear the mind to cake. Well then let try this, I made him lay on his back and put a simple bowl one got from the kitchen on his abdomen. If this doesn't work I don't care anymore, I thought in annoyance. Now don't move and imagine you have a cake above your abdomen and try to see it by focusing your entire mind on it, and somehow this crazy method worked and I followed after him inside the seal space. I saw Naruto looking curiously at the huge door and Kurama sitting behind it while ignoring Naruto's look, and after he noticed that I appeared inside he turned to me and asked with a hopeful look, where are my parents? You are going to meet them soon. I said while walking toward the large gate, more specifically toward a seal paper in the middle of the door holding it like a lock, Kurama looked intrigued at what I am doing watching every action of mine carefully and was shocked when he saw me jumping towards the paper. As I grabbed the paper and started peeling it, suddenly a hand grabbed the collar of my shirt and threw me away and a voice soon followed, who are you and why are you trying to unseal the nine tails? It was a handsome man with blue eyes and spiky blonde hair. He has jaw-length bangs framing either side of his face, he was wearing a standard Konoha uniform with two bands on both of his sleeves, a green flak jacket, blue forehead protector, and blue sandals, above them he wore a short-sleeved long white haori decorated by red flame-like motifs on the edges, with the kanji for, fourth Hokage, written vertically down the back. Time to continue this experiment, I thought before standing up and said, nice to meet you Minato Namikaze I am Bakorio. Uchiha, don't worry I just wanted to have a talk with you and fulfill my promise to Naruto to make him meet his parents. Minato looked at Naruto and just didn't expect to meet him in this kind of situation, he thought he would meet him much older trying to unseal the QB to face someone stronger than him but he quickly adjusted to his thoughts when he heard Naruto saying with teary eyes, F father. Naruto. He was about to rush to him and hug his son but I stepped in his way which caused him to give me an angry look and said, what are you doing? I can see Naruto looking at me with a confused look and I looked straight into his eyes and said to him, do you trust me? Naruto hesitated for a moment but nodded in the end, um I trust you, so I smiled at him and turned back to Minato, you don't have much time since you only sealed a small part of your chakra inside Naruto but I can help you to extend your time here but it's not going to be for free. Minato looked surprised but he quickly warmed up to me when he saw that I was close to Naruto and decided to hear what I have to say, sure what do you want? I said with a flat tone, I want both you and your wife to work for me from now on, and believe me, you would want to live again after you hear the situation in the village and especially how Naruto is being treated so quickly decide. It's great to not give people time to think things through. I thought with a smile he looked at me with a serious look then turned back to Naruto and asked him, Naruto how's your life in the village? I nodded at Naruto and he replied with a sad face, terrible, I live alone and everyone bullies me, I felt the air turned extremely cold around Minato for an instant before turned back to normal again, woo what a scary guy the first, thought and Minato said, didn't Lord Third and Jiraiya Sensei take care of you? Naruto simply shook his head, 
I don't know who Jiraiya Sensei is but Lord visits me sometimes after people started calling me a monster, this time the chill emitted from him for a longer time before it dissipated and he looked at me and said. I accept to work for you but I won't harm innocent people, this is my bottom line and I need you to take care of Naruto. I shrugged at him. I am not that evil to harm someone innocent, I just hope our meaning of innocence is the same, before I walked to him and took something out of my storage, a pill. I really wonder if this would work, I thought as I arrived in front of him and told him to swallow the chakra regenerating pill. What the hell is this pill? Minato was startled as he could feel his almost depleted chakra started regenerating quickly. Low genin level, medium genin level, high genin level, low chunin level. Jonin level and suddenly something seemed wrong as his expression changed and he could feel an attraction force was building around him. That's what I was waiting for, I thought, because the rest of Minato's chakra and soul are inside the Death Reaper since he used the Death Reaper seal so how is the effect of the pill from the system going to be? Will it stop because of the involvement of something else or will it make him recover regardless, I couldn't wait to see the result. Unbeknownst to anyone, inside the Uzumaki temple in the outskirts of the hidden leaf village in a wall filled with mask, a certain mask started vibrating intensely and from it came a ghostly figure, it turned its head in the direction of Konoha, specifically, it looked in the direction of a house containing only two kids and it started emitting a terrible atmosphere and laughing an evil sinister laugh that could cause the dead to tremble in their graves, this was the Death Reaper. Thank you for listening guys.